everybody, it's the Lumi Love Bag one here. And if you guys may or may not know, every American Girl has a Cyber Monday sale, and I've never bought anything from it before, but this year I decided to see what they had because I don't want to wait up until midnight for a sale, especially when it's on like a Sunday night and I have school the next day, but I recently signed up for IG Rewards, so I was able to have early access for the Cyber Monday sale at like 6 p.m. the day before, which is nice. So I'm really excited because I never got anything from this sale before. Also, I just like haven't really bought any doll stuff in a while or done much. So like, I hope over winter break I'm able to um, do some doll videos, but like, unfortunately I'm like, in AP classes now, so I'm a sophomore. Oh, and by the way, my scissors here, because if you guys watch my videos before, you know I suck at opening things. Um, so, I don't have any time, but I'm thinking about making a video over break that's like a day in the life of an AP student or something, because it's really stressful. Um, one of the things I bought, I just want to say first of all, is I, I have Grace, and I have the first Grace book, um, because it came with her, obviously, so I also bought the second and third Grace book, because... I read the first one, and then I just, like, watched the movie on YouTube, so I know what happens, because I watched the movie, but I still want to read them, and, I mean, this book is kind of cringeworthy, but I also really like it, and I really love Grace the doll, and I really love France, and, um, fun information, um, like, surprise, I guess, I'm going to France in the spring, and I'm really, really excited, and I'm thinking about bringing Grace, because, like, how can you go to France and not bring Grace with you to take pictures? By the way, I've, like, never been to France, so I'm really excited, and I don't know when I'm ever going to go again, at least, like, not for, like, ten more years, like, I probably won't go again until I'm an adult if I go myself. But, unfortunately, like, this is an exchange program through my school, so I'm going with other people from my school and, like, um, one of the French teachers at my school, so I'm not sure if I'm going to, like, bring my doll with me to take pictures, you feel me? But I'll, I'll figure it out. I have plenty of time because I'm not going until April. But, anyway, so I'll keep reading about France um, in these books, although I'm pretty sure only the first one takes place in France and then the, se the second and third are at our house. But, whatever, I will cut out lots of packing peanuts. Yay! I would throw these everywhere except I don't feel like making a mess that I have to clean up. Okay, so the first book I have is just called Grace. And I'm going to put these two with it. And then the second book is Grace Stirs It Up. And the third book is Grace Makes It Great. All by Mary Casanova. Yay. Oh, I got this like free issue of the American Girl magazine that you get in every package. But I'm not going to use it because I don't really want the magazines. Although maybe I can do a giveaway where I just give away a bunch of things for free magazines, honestly. Would people want that? Um, so the first thing I got was the Starry Styling Kit. I got this because it comes with, like, ponytails and clips and stuff, which I use all the time for my dolls and myself. Like, I'll use my doll clips in my hair and my clips in my doll hair. So this kind of thing is always useful because I always need more ponytails and clips. Like, when do you not? So it comes in this, like, plastic. Okay, so it comes with four of these <clears throat> in blue and pink. These, like, weird... They're kind of like claw clips, but they're kind of weird. So I'm not really sure when you use them because... They will be highly visible in your hair, but it's still cute. So two pink and two blue. And then it comes with six of like regular claw clips. Although it's kind of cute because they, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but they have like a little heart on the top. Um, like the part that you hold is a heart. Um, so it comes with three orangish red. I guess it's just three red and three blue. I think they're supposed to be red, but they look kind of orangey. That's 10 clips in total. Then it comes with, oh my God, I need help. It comes with this pack of like rainbow ponytail holders. So it, okay, here we go. So it comes with two purples, two blues, two oranges, two like magentas, and then two greens. So that's 10 of these ponytails in total. Then it comes with these other ponytail holders that I can't seem to get out. These are the kind of like the softer ponytails that it comes with um, in the pajama sets. So I'm more excited. Like I'm going to use these way more often, like the regular ponytails. But these ones like always come with the pajamas and they're really cute. So it comes with six in total. It comes with two blues, two whites, and two like dark pink. So it's kind of patriotic. Like kind of think of it like red, white, and blue. That's how they package it. So I feel like that's how they want you to think of it. But like it's not red. It's like dark pink. But... Whatever. Everything just came off because I am amazing at this. Then it comes with a bunch of elastics that are going to spill everywhere if I, or they're going to all break. Okay, I'm not going to count these, but it comes with pinks, blues, purples, and whites, it looks like. So I'll just show you one of each. So this is what the blue one looks like. These are just like the really thin elastics that you could put like at the end of a braid or something. These are what the white ones look like. These are what the pink ones look like. Ugh, these are what the purple ones look like. So it just comes with a bunch of those. And then, I didn't know it comes to this, but it comes with this beautiful braid booklet. Beautiful braids with featuring number 24 on the front. And it just shows how to make drop braids, all-star braids, and rope braids. So maybe I'll use this tutorial. I don't know, the rope braid looks kind of cool, but I also probably won't I'll probably end up throwing this out. 
or I probably won't end up throwing it out and it'll just sit. That's the more likely. And then it comes with this cool carrying case for all of your objects. Yay. And you can use it for this or, I mean, you could just use it for anything. I almost feel like it could be like a cool lunch box. Like, look, it's got this pocket in it. So you could put all the clips and ponytails in here and you could put like a brush here or whatever. Okay, so everything's in here. It's kind of a weird case because it's very flat. I mean, I guess it like makes it very portable and it, it's not like it needs to fit that much. Like it's just ponytail holders. So it's not like it's super three dimensional, but yeah, there you go. Everything's in here. The, what is it called? Mod Monster Costume. It's the Frankenstein Spread costume. I guess they just didn't get the copyrights to Frankenstein Spread. So this is what it looks like in the box. So first thing I'm gonna take out is this white dress. Um, it's pretty cute. It's pretty cheap quality, but I mean, that's not that bad because I didn't really buy this set for the dress, but it's got a heart neckline and it's got these this cute like mesh top, which I love like dresses with the sweetheart neckline and then the mesh top. Um, like that's like that blue ice jeans that I have and it has these like lines on the sleeves and the mesh part and that's got a green belt and then you probably know this but it's got a little glittery spider in the corner and a little spider web. I didn't know it was glittery before. I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera but it is glittery. I can really use this anytime I need a white dress. Then this is the thing that I'm probably never going to use but it's like the hair piece. Like the Frankenstein's bride hair piece so you put this on your doll and I guess it stands up and it's like a hat. Um, I guess you could put their hair into a bun and put this over it. I mean, you could also use this just like, I feel like you could maybe stand it up. Or it doesn't really stand up. I was going to say it could be like a laundry hamper or something. But it doesn't really stand up because the top's not like flat. But you could figure out some other use for it. Or just use it in a fun video where your dog gets electrocuted and their hair is like, whoosh. Oh, I got the little Halloween treat bag. I like the trick or treat. That is actually so cute. I didn't think from looking at the picture I was going to use this, but it's a lot smaller than I thought, and I love little things, and I love, like, doll bags. Like, I have a collection of, like, bags for my dolls. So it's got Frankenstein on it, and it's actually really adorable. So it's supposed to be a Halloween trick-or-treat bag, but you can also, I guess, just use it in general. It could be, like, a really cute party favor or something. I'm going to open the choker, which I have, like, I own, like, two chokers. Like, one that's, like, a regular one and one that I made, but I really love chokers, and... Whatever, I feel like I'm going to use this all the time. So, it's kind of like those, like, tattoo chokers. Like, you know what I'm talking about, like, the squiggly ones. But it looks like stitches because it's supposed to be, like, Frankenstein's theme. So, hold on. Here you go. Now you can see it. I mean, you've probably seen pictures of it before, but it's alternating, like, X's and lines. It's, like, you can see how it's Frankenstein themed. It's not, like, so obviously just Frankenstein that, like, you have to only use it for a Halloween costume. Like, it definitely you can use it all the time. And it has this type of class that American Girl loves, and people seem to hate the same class that's on Grace's Charm bracelet, but... It's pretty easy to use. The combat boots, they do have a little bit of green in them, um, but it's it's only like the stitching is green, so it's not super noticeable and the rest is black. Unfortunately, they're like floppier than I expected and that I would like. There's not like a hard bottom. Like you can see, it's just like very like, whole thing's kind of floppy and can be bent around. Hopefully when it's on the doll's foot, it'll be fine. Um, Cause it doesn't have a lot of like shape to it. You can kind of just like move it around and the tongue, does not come out it's just like all attached in there so it's just kind of like one floppy piece so it's maybe not the best quality combat boots that I would have liked like maybe I, I would have expected a little bit more from American Girl but whatever they're still really cute and I'm definitely gonna use them all the time because there's definitely a lot of times where I'm trying to pick out a doll outfit and I really want combat boots and I don't have any and then I end up using Grace's boots and Sage's boots like their meat boots but which I love but these like I'm excited to have combat boots so I'm just adding this opening video onto the last one because I think that's just better for everyone now than having, um, rather than uploading two opening videos right now. But I went to the American Girl store the other day um, on Tuesday, December 27th, and I met up with my friend Ella Doll Pirates and Pink Sparkles AG and um, AG Lovers Unite too because they were all in the Wizard of Oz together over the summer. If you're on EGIG, you probably saw stuff about the Wizard of Oz, the production was put on by AG Doll Diary. The meetup was really fun. The store was like extremely crowded and we didn't think it was going to be. So once we bought our stuff, we left because it was just too crowded and like we're getting claustrophobic. We couldn't handle it. Then we got lunch and then we uh, went to Bryant Park and took pictures and bought hot chocolate. I only got a couple things but everything was on sale so if you have the chance to go to the store this week I suggest you do because everything was like half off it was like amazing deals I only spent ten dollars because of the sales and then I also had like a ten dollar gift card from my friend so um yeah I got stuff at a really good price Mary Ellen's crinoline which is usually sixteen dollars but it was on sale for nine dollars which is why I bought it because I always wanted it but I don't want to spend that much money so when I saw that it was on sale I was like I should get it because 
I want to make my skirts poofier and also I want to use it as like its own skirt or tutu. So this is it. It's just a bunch of like of tulle. It's just like one layer, but it's like really poofy. So you're supposed to put it under Mary Ellen's dresses and skirts to make them poof up, but you could also use it as its own thing. And especially for dance, like it would be a great tutu. So yeah. The holiday penguin PJs, which they had a bunch of sale things out where they just put up a table and like said what the price was and then put a bunch of that item. So this was one of those things. And I wasn't planning on getting it, but Alicia Pink Sparkles AG got it and then when we were about to pay she decided she didn't really want it anymore so I just took it from her because I didn't feel like going and getting anything but said she wasn't gonna get it and we didn't want to put it back I was like hey I'll get it and it's usually $24 but it was on sale for $12 so that was a really good deal so the first thing is the top and I think these are gonna be Adelaide's PJs because I think they're very good for like gender neutral um so it has a number 10 and a little penguin, and it's kind of like this style of like a, I don't know, like a hockey shirt. I, I'm not into sports, but it kind of looks athletic, and it's got these stripes on the side, so that's really cute. And then it comes with these pajama pants that are penguins, so they are blue. Oh, I didn't realize they have this at the bottom, so they're kind of like leggings or yoga pants because they have like this hem at the bottom here. You can probably see the line. Um, so... You could use them probably as leggings also, instead of just as pajama pants, but they have all these penguins that are ice skating and holding presents and wearing scarves, and that's really cute. And then, because of these two pink ponytail holders, all the pajama sets come with some of these ponytail holders. Um, and then, it comes with these slippers, which are super cute. So, all pajama sets come with slippers also, but these are like hot pink, and then they have like white fuzz, and then little pink bows so they look really cozy. We didn't feel like waiting online because like I said it was really crowded so the lines were really long and congested so to pay we didn't want to wait online so we went to the personal shopping room because um, AG Lover is Unite 2 she has a personal shopper so we went there to pay and when we got it um, she was really nice so she gave us a little extra stuff with the personal shopper so she gave us all a mini bag for our dolls so I think I have a couple of these like you get it if you just buy a small thing. She gave us all two sets of toenail polish stickers so I'll open up and show you what's in it. So it's just like these toenail polish stickers that you can put on your doll, but the set comes with one purple, one gray, one blue, and one pink. She gave us two of these, so I could have two of my dolls have purple toenails or something, so that's really cute. And then she gave us all, since Leah's retiring and they're just trying to get rid of Leah's stuff, she gave us a big color-in poster from Leah's collection, I guess. So she just stuck all this stuff in our bag. So it says, meet Leah Clark at the bottom, and I can't really show you the whole thing because of the angle the camera's at, but it's just like a bunch of jungle designs. There's like a girl right here, and then uh, who's supposed to be Leah, and then all these animals and leaves and flowers, and then you just color it in and hang it up in your doll room or in your regular room whatever clothes your boat so yeah the meetup was really fun i really hope you guys enjoyed my opening of my um cyber monday sale stuff and then this sale so if you have the chance to get to ag um in the next like today or tomorrow really like if you live right next to it so you can go and it's not a big deal then i would go but warning the line was so long and it was like to get into the store and um it was insanely crowded so we were just relieved to get out of there but yeah bye